friends. Uh, hello. Hi. How are you? I hope you guys are having an amazing day today. Hello. So I feel like I'm very dark. So today is a talk tutorial Tuesday. Yay. Um, and today's palette that we're playing with is actually very special. In December, me and a few of my YouTube friends did a little secret Santa and we ended up going on the Half Cousins podcast, which is my friend Georgia and Lacey's podcast. And we ended up doing a little like gift exchange, like secret Santa thing and Georgia was my secret Santa and she got me she well she made me I guess this beautiful custom lethal cosmetics palette I've never tried lethal cosmetics until she sent this to me I've used this a couple times but I've been wanting to do this video this like first review kind of playing around with the palette she said she tried to pick colors that were very me and it was really funny because at the time my palette had not been like announced um but she basically made like my palette <laughs> in lethal shades because this is exactly the same color story so she knows me very well she knew exactly what I would want with pinks and the purples and the reds um so we are just gonna play around with this today and just like chit chat when you're seeing this I believe I'm gonna be in Paris I am like massively excited about that this is pre-filmed so um if I'm not like commenting or seeing anything that you guys are saying I apologize um but yeah let's get right into it hello hi how are you um so first I just want to take a big fluffy brush I've only Use this like twice because I've been waiting to film a review. She specifically said in the live stream, she was like, there better be a tutorial. But I'm really excited because I've heard lethal shadows are like phenomenal. We'll see. I'm, <laughs> that sounded way too skeptical. I'm excited. Um, we're going to go in with this pure white shade right here and just kind of pack this on. You guys know that I really like to have a nice clean base. So what's been going on? It's kind of funny because I'm filming this like the day after I posted last week's tutorial Tuesday with the Natasha Denota Love palette. And uh, it was really funny reading your guys's comments because obviously I have a cast and you guys were like you guys were like Hannah it's a little sad honestly to see you put on makeup with a cast like it's a little depressing but I was like welcome to my life I feel like I'm overcompensatingly being upbeat right now I'm not actually that feeling that upbeat at the moment um I just filmed and uploaded my I'm gonna go in with this like peachy shade right here I'm gonna try to do a simpler look than I did last week because I feel as though they're ooh they're very powdery which is a good or a bad thing. It really can go either way. Uh, I'm gonna put this in my crease. Feeling kind of um, a lot of feelings, I guess, right now. And I feel like this is a more appropriate place to talk about it. I just uploaded my update on my Midas cosmetics collab. If you want to know like what I'm referencing right now, you can go watch that video. It's up. I'm kind of feeling like a lot of feelings. I did not feel like in that video it was necessarily appropriate or the time to discuss my feelings. Um, and that's mostly because just it just wasn't the appropriate time to do that um, because it was supposed to be an update about like um, canceling orders if you wanted to or when people are going to be getting their palettes and when you're talking about other people's money people feeling like maybe they feel screwed over it's never the time to be like oh I'm so sad <laughs> I'm devastated but I do um, feel like here is a good place to talk about it because I normally just sit down and tell you guys about my feelings and I feel like to pretend like I'm not feeling a little like defeated and upset would be a lie for sure. Um, I am definitely feeling kind of down. I'm going to go in with this purple shade right here and just put that on kind of a lower part of my crease. I liked that pink though. It blended out really pretty. So uh, the whole thing with the Midas collab has honestly just been really, really, really difficult. I know it's been difficult for the people who are obviously the shoppers and all of the delays and all of the annoyance and I totally get that and that's kind of been my first priority. But I think now that all the information's out there and I've kind of like put up the video about it. I've been introspecting like while I was getting ready to do this video. I was like introspecting on how I kind of felt in my social work classes. It's all about like introspection and <laughs> all that stuff. Um, so I was kind of introspecting on how I felt about the situation and quite frankly it's been like honestly just devastating. Um, really devastating I think because I, I think there's a lot of reasons for it. I think the first and foremost one is letting people down is a horrible feeling. Knowing that I have a platform that I was able to use to get people to buy something that I created and now people might feel let down or like I took advantage of that or feel, even if like one person feels that way that is a horrible horrible feeling as a person. It goes against everything that I in my core believe in about doing social media, which is like doing exactly what's been happening. Um, when I found out that I'm going to go in with this like pinky purple kind of on my inner corner. When I 
found out that everything was being delayed even more um, than it already had been announced that it would be, um, I cried for like two hours. Um, <laughs> I literally like curled up in a ball and just cried, which is not like the most professional thing to do in that situation. But I was, my boyfriend was talking, trying to talk me through it. And I was just like literally inconsolable for a lot of reasons. I mean, kind of what I said, like letting people down obviously is like a horrible, horrible feeling, but also there comes along with it, like embarrassment. Like there's, it's so embarrassing to have a launch go like this. And I know that like Midas feels the same way. It's so embarrassing and heartbreaking to have something that was hyped and had a lot of support turn out to be this way, it's truly heartbreaking. And I also feel, I know I shouldn't feel this way. I'm gonna go in with um, this like deeper plum right here. I know I shouldn't feel this way because it's not the same situation, but I cannot help but feel like a hypocrite. And I think the reason for that is because I have talked at length on my YouTube channel about other people's launches and other people's like things and like the Jaclyn Hill launch. I, I made a bunch of videos about that and how, you know, how unprofessional it all was and how I didn't feel like she was being honest with her consumers and how I, like I had so many problems with it and how it was just a mess and how like people expected more from her. And now it's like, I'm in that position where it's definitely not the same situation, but for whatever reason in my brain, I'm like, I'm like, I am just like her. Like, I'm I'm doing like that's how I feel about it I feel like a hypocrite because I'm like how could I call her out but I can't even do a launch and I said that to my boyfriend and he was like Anna he was like you don't have like hairs in your lipsticks he was like you have a world health crisis that you never could have expected and like while that's true the feelings letting everyone down and the feeling of being a hypocrite for not having like a perfect launch um is absolutely there and I know that like that's not the case and that's what I keep trying to remind myself myself as like me and Midas are doing the best that we can with this whole situation and in the long run everything's gonna be fine. It's not like the palettes are like never coming out or anything but it does still suck. <laughs> I mean it sucks. But one thing I will say a couple of people I think in a kind of snide way have been like oh doesn't this give you compassion for people like Jaclyn Hill or things like that. I guess in a sense but like also what I don't understand and maybe it's because it's such a small scale what I'm doing so maybe that's why it was easier for me. The second that we found out information, we were just honest. <laughs> we just told you guys what was going on. The video I just posted was information I found out two days ago, and it was just like, get on social media and talk about it, and just be honest and transparent. I do feel like I, to give myself a little bit of credit, I am definitely proud of myself. I'm gonna do like a mini cut crease. It's too ambitious, I know, but we're gonna try. I feel like I do have to give myself a little bit of credit in the sense that um, me and the brand I'm working with Midas, like that was our first priority was um, letting you guys know, keeping you guys informed and keeping you guys in the loop about everything. Um, and that's the part where I'm like, it, I'm just like walking through my process, I guess. I guess I'm just rambling. But that was the part where I was like, man, I guess I don't really understand why it's so hard for these brands to just tell the truth. Because I get the embarrassing part. I get that you like have to, you know, admit to mistakes that were made. Because in reality, I think if I could go back in time and redo anything, obviously I think we all would have, Midas and I both, would have waited until we actually physically had the product to have it go on sale. But pre-orders are just such a common thing <laughs> that we like didn't think it would be a problem. And we'd already ordered it. It wasn't a pre-order where we like needed the money to like order it we just did it because of timing so because they had another launch coming out my launch had been delayed and like all of these things so we were like oh this is a totally normal thing everything's already been paid for everything is on the way like this is a normal thing that happens and um then it wasn't then everything happened and like if I could go back in time I would change that obviously <laughs> but like I can't I'm gonna go in with this really sparkly white shimmer and I'm gonna go in with my finger and I'm just gonna really pack that on. Oh, that's pretty. This is gorgeous, honestly. This was like, I didn't even, I wasn't even thinking about the palette, but I feel like that means it's a good palette because I literally wasn't even, <laughs> it blunted so easy. It was such an easy look to create. Hello. I do like this too because you can like create your own. Although I'm not huge on single shadows. I never really got the appeal unless it was like a JD Glow situation where they're like super transformative. Never really understood that, but this is like cool and I kind of like that it's customized for me because I will use all of these shades. So I guess in that sense, I get it. Um, I am gonna go in with this like light pink purpley color again and just kind of pat over the edges here. Number one, just to brighten everything up, but also to kind of make it so it's not such a harsh line between the matte and the shimmer. And then I'm also probably gonna go back in with that deep color and deepen it back up because that got a little too bright because it was so pigmented. <laughs> 
So yeah, that's kind of my whole thoughts on the pro the situation. At the moment, it's obviously frustrating. You do what you can. I hope I didn't come off as like emotionless in that video. <laughs> you know what I mean? I wasn't trying to, I was just trying to like be professional because it like wasn't about me. But I'm definitely like sad, obviously. And it sucks because I have to pre-film a ton of videos tonight. So I, I'm, I like feel like I need to talk about it in this video just to get it off of my chest. I'm gonna go in with this purple shade for my cre for my lower lash line. These are so pigmented. Oh my god. These are Georgia. Thank you. These are beautiful. I do feel like I needed to like film a video like this and just be honest about like, the other side of it, like my feelings and stuff, because I do feel like a lot of you guys care about that. And I also feel like I have to film other things, and I feel like going forward with everything without really addressing that would have just made me so sad. I'm gonna go in with this deeper shade again and just kind of match both parts of the outer corner. Charles is now into TikTok and it's making my life so happy. My life is exponentially better now that he's finally jumped on the TikTok train. It's like insane. I'm gonna just do mascara and eyeliner and then I'll be right back for final reveal, final look. I can literally hear him watching TikToks downstairs. I'm in love with him so much. I'm so happy we can share this. We send each other TikToks during the day now and it's amazing. Wow, these shadows are beautiful. This look was so effortless too. I'm not trying to like, like be annoying, but like, oh my God, <laughs> these are so good. Good. This was so easy to create and it looks so pretty. What the heck? Lethal, where have you been all my life? Where have you been all my life? I'm gonna text him right now and be like, welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the TikTok army. There is a dude who has been riding his motorcycle up and down my street for like two hours and I want him to stop. <laughs> All right, so this is the final look. I feel like it came out so good. I don't know how I did this, but I feel like the shadows, if I can make something this pretty with a broken wrist, I feel like unbroken, I could do so much. Um, I feel like this turned out so good. The shimmer is gorgeous. The mattes blended so well. You can still kind of see the like dimension to it that I wanted. Like this is everything. So we're gonna do a quick mandatory narcissistic montage and then we'll be done. friends. Well, that's going to be it for me. I absolutely loved this palette. Thank you so much, my friend Georgia. This is absolutely amazing. I'm very, very excited about owning this and like playing with it a ton more. I feel like the looks I could create with these color combinations is also endless, and I would love to try some of the more like metallic-y pink shimmers too, but I had kind of a vision with the white on it. Um, I think this is beautiful though. The, the fact that I like forgot I was doing my eyeshadow because it was just so easy to like blend everything out and put things together um, makes me think this is a really good formula. Um, so I would would 10 out of 10 recommend lethal if you had been interested in it or and I think it's cool too that you could like buy one of these but you'd only have to buy like a couple shadows just to try it out I do think that's kind of cool 10 out of 10 really liked this <laughs> thought it was a really great palette thank you to my friend Georgia yet again I love you guys so much I'm sorry if this video was a bit of a downer but I feel like I did want to just like talk to you guys a little bit <laughs> um I love you guys so much I hope you like this video if you did please like and subscribe or just like or just subscribe or do neither I'm honestly just so happy you're watching me thank you so much for being here my merch my social media and everything I'm wearing on my face will be link down below along with a link to register to vote. That's right. You can click on that link. You can register to vote and you can be part of your democracy. It's an amazing thing. Go do it. Um, and if you're not from the United States, that link does not apply to you. Please make sure you're staying informed on what's going on locally, federally, just like in your life. Um, use your voice in a positive way if you can, because the world absolutely needs more of that. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.